Like Ovanen. Well met and welcome to the safe haven of Imlatris. She knows me. Like Ovanen, Lady Arwen. It is a great honor. The Dunedain are always welcome here. You have endured great <laughs> and right given us now. urgent warning. Oh, dude, you too? To she doesn't it's sound it's anything it's like the woman it's that it's played Arwen. Well, she is an elf. They tend to do things with green leaf, which is marijuana. Well, we apparently discussed her lore with her, or I did. So, herb. Yep. We shall speak of the green some other time, my friend. Who is this still? The name means hope. But who is this Estelle you spoke of? Forgive me. I forget that not all the Dunedain know of this. Am I getting a Estelle unique quest from her? Given to your chieftain, Aragorn, as he grew up in Imladris. Why was he called Estelle? It is a good name. How did he come to be known? I'm getting a unique quest from her. As a ranger, you must know of the practice of awesome. being the child of a chieftain. Awesome. I have to tell me about it after I'm done talking to her. <laughs> Something about gathering ingredients in this. Well, I didn't hear you bumbling about it, so. True. I have to gather ingredients so that she can blaze it 420. Knowing the enemy sought ever for a living heir of Isildur, <laughs> he renamed the boy Estelle to keep his true name and lineage hidden. Aragorn was twenty before Elrond revealed these things to him and gave him tokens of his heritage. But he remains Estelle to me, for he is my heart's hope, even as he is the hope of the Dunedain. Yeah. Close the Dunedain Aragorn are not given to idle gossip, but I have heard that you pledged yourself to Aragorn. It would be a joyous thing if true. Yeah, they'd be Long fucking like wild rabbits. Myself to him beneath the golden boughs of Lost Florian. <laughs> Hi, wild rabbits. The yes. Shadow, and yet my heart rejoices, for you, Estelle, <laughs> shall be among the great, the valor will destroy it. Yet there is much pain in this choice, for I am He wasn't like other men. And half elven. <laughs> to cleave to Estelle, I must forsake my mortal life and become mortal, accepting the bitter with the sweet. Even Not all men. Even should endure this war. Elrond will leave me. My lady. And we will be parted beyond the end of the world. It is the price I must pay to bring love and hope to Estelle, to Aragorn. Would that I had the leisure to enjoy the peace of Imladris. But Elrond has asked me to scout the Etenmores. My companions and I must leave as soon as may be. Then I will not keep you, but we may be of service to one another. Service I am to helping him. my father brew a potion, potion known as Mirabor. Brew a potion known as One Mirabor. sip of Mirabor can renew heart and soul and bring new vigor to weary limbs. I'm sure <laughs> of certain rare certain ingredients rare that may be found in the Etenmores. If I gave you a list of the ingredients, yeah, probably. You could bring any Ooh! With what? With ingredients, I will return the favor. I got a really good sword. Flask that you may have for your own use. Where did you get the sword? Uh, it's Ag Agnir's sword. Um, it's a sword that's on fire. <gasps> That sword is on Let fire. That is a generous offer. Should I find what you require, I will return to you once my mission mm, is complete. Sorry. Good, got quest. Yep. Okay. Time to go talk to some other people. Yeah, wait for me, I need to talk to people. It's Bilbo. Bilbo Baggins. Hello. Shut up, Spock. Nine, are you not? Please allow me to introduce <laughs> myself. Bilbo Baggins at your service. Eridan at yours. Always happy to. Oh, meet I know Bilbo. Of the <laughs> Fuck, I know everyone. You, you know everyone because you're an elf and you've been everywhere. Looking for new herb to blaze it with. <laughs> I've heard tales about you. I have heard many tales about From you. From Spock. Baggins. You are something of a legend. Oh, all greatly exaggerated, I assure you. 
Well, of course, there was the incident with facing the dragon Smaug, and I did save Thorin Oakenshield and his companions from the spiders of Mirkwood, as well as rescuing them from captivity in the Elven King's halls. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, were. Oh, I seem to know Bilbo, too. I heard those stories told across the campfire while the rangers kept watch over your homeland. Most of my kin have no idea of the sacrifices others have made for their safety, but those of us who do are grateful. More grateful than I can say. I've written all about it, so perhaps they will learn about it someday soon. The Dunedain. The Dunedain. In the Elvish, that signifies man of the West, one of my people. Yes, indeed, but when I say it, I mean Aragorn, of course. The Dunedain, he is often called here. A remarkable man, Aragorn, and a good friend. I almost wish that I could accompany him on his grand quest, but... I'm far too old for adventures now. I only hope I will be spared long enough to write it all down. Tell me about Frodo. Tell me about Frodo. Is he your son? Oh, no, he's not my son. Actually, he's my first cousin once removed. And also my second cousin once removed. Well, it's, it's complicated, but we, we share a great-grandfather. The poor lad was orphaned at an early age, and so I adopted him. Made him my heir, all nice and legal, while simultaneously dashing the greedy hopes of my odious relations, the Sackville Baggins. <laughs> He's a good lad, Frodo. I only wish... I only wish he hadn't inherited my troubles along with my estate. I hope that Gandalf and the Dunedain will keep him safe in the days ahead. Tell me about Can them. you tell me how Frodo came to be in possession of the Ring of Power? Well, yes, that was through me, I'm afraid. I found the ring by happenstance while lost beneath the roots of the Misty Mountains. I won it. That is to say, I... I'm just over here having a pleasant conversation with Frodo. Of course, Bilbo. I did not know the full story of the ring until only a few days ago. I thought it was merely You're all formal about it. I'm just talking about poetry and blazing it. I only used it to avoid unwelcome <laughs> visitors. Imagine that old ring of mine causing such a fuss. I would gladly take charge of it again if that would help. Oh yes. Yeah. Gladly. Yeah. You know Also we kind of skipped over Aragorn up there. We discussed something else. Rivendell. Now you call Rivendell your home? Well, the Shire will always be my home, I suppose. But this is the perfect place for so many things that I'm more than content to remain here. My days oh, are mostly filled with my writing now. What do you write? What is it you write? Oh, a little of this and a little of that. History, my past adventures, uh, family trees. Bilbo's going to want some help with a poem. From the Elvish. Although lately I've been working on yep. poetry mostly. It's not a quest or anything. Hey. Maybe you could so you get a reward from it? I don't think so. Poem for Aragorn, mm. I'm a bit stuck on a line or two. Let's hear it. Is that so? Well then, let me hear what you have. Uh, very well, very well. Uh, the verse that's giving me trouble runs like this. Ahem. <clears throat> the light from the west is rekindled. Bilbo, no, no. Get away from the ring. Renewed is the hope that has dwindled. Bilbo, please. The scion of Western East Kings. The light from the West is rekindled. Forth from him Ladris it springs. Renewed is the hope that is dwindled. The scion of Western East Kings. Why, yes, yes, that's just the thing, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my friend, you should consider exchanging those weapons of yours for the poet's pen. I hope one day I will be able to sit at ease and compose verse, but I fear that day is still far off. Oh, I'm afraid you're right, but since these old hands are not much use with the sword, I'll just keep on with the pen. Though I'll need some help. Perhaps you could show this to the Lady Arwin. She has her people's gift with words, and this touches her deeply, after all. Seems we were supposed. I will take it. Seems we were supposed to talk oh, with Bilbo first. Uh, be sure Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins. I will indeed. Farewell now. Yeah. 
Right back to Arwen. Yeah. My lady, we come to blaze it. Blaze, blaze. Blaze blue. Michael Vaughn. More like blaze green. It is good of you to visit me again. I thought I continue to brew Miravore, but I am concerned about our. Uh, I have an errand I must not forget. Here is an unfinished poem from Bilbo. He asked for your opinion and advice, saying the subject is very close to your heart. Then it must be about Estelle. He is fond of writing verses in honor of his good friend, and therefore often comes to me for advice. You still look you stoned out of me, your mind, Arwen. I will give it some thought. You've only been away from her for five minutes. Thank you, lady. Perhaps the time will come when I can enjoy these gentle arts, but that's, that's enough time to light one up. I must take my leave, lady. Namarie. How do I run? I forget. Shift. Shift. I'm using a controller. Oh. Shift. Shift. Uh. <sighs> hey, Bilbo. Did Greetings. I hope the Lady Arwen will have some good suggestions for my verse. I'm really most eager to finish the thing. Mm. <laughs> Do all hobbits share your love of poetry? Yes, I suppose There's so. Although thing. usually our songs and poems hobbits concern good food, good drink, and, and good stuff. humor. All those things we love. I mean, are there many hobbit poets? Quite a bit different yeah. from what you find here in Rivendell. Yet you said you were writing a poem yeah. about Aragorn. <laughs> well, well, one can't live long among the elves without um, some of their habits rubbing off, I suppose. Although I doubt I will ever match the elven appetite for music, poetry, and tales. They seem to like them as much as food, maybe even more. I'll you have you. a poem to write, and I have a task. Goodbye, Mr. Biggins. We might want to grab, uh, what's his face? Who? Before we forget. Fucking Aragorn. Yeah, it would be a good idea to go talk to Strider. Okay. Since he's all the way up here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm trying to... Yeah, I cannot run, apparently. The shards of Narsa, sword of the land. Oh, there we go. I found Soon it shall be remade, and Aragorn will bear it to war. Thank you for telling us that. Uh, Happy to help. To Eredan, I am glad of this chance to speak with you. I wish to tell you how proud I am of all you have accomplished. I know Strider! Harbarad has well, of course well, I do. Duh. And your acts of courage honor the memory yeah, of our brothers who fell at Sarn Ford. He's Knowing I have the loyalty of such men strengthens my resolve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and now Aragorn's apologizing to me because he thought I would be a spy. <laughs> That's <laughs> racist. Uh, Gandalf. What about Gandalf? What can you tell me of him? To know all there is to know of Gandalf would require a lifetime study. There is much about him that remains a mystery, even to me. Yet he is a relentless foe of Sauron. And Dude, without I knew him ever since he was a kid. Be in the hands of the enemy. Crazy. His wisdom I and know. leadership will be So you were basically the nanny. Uh, Boromir. What about this man of Gondor? The one called Boromir? Boromir? If he hails Boromir. from Gondor, then he is one of our long-sundered kin. But what else do you know of him? Boromir is the son of Denethor, the steward of Gondor. I had never met him before Elrond's council, but long years ago, under another name, I served his grandfather Ecthelion. Yeah, he just called himself a dog. Was valiant and strong. Yes, and by good. all accounts, Boromir is foremost among them in courage and skill at arms. I suspect we will have need of his sword before our quest is through. Legolas. Tell me about the wood elf, Legolas. It is fitting that we have a representative of the Eldar, the elves, along with us on this venture. They have been foes of Sauron since before the ancestors of the Dúnedain first returned to the shores of Middle-earth. Legolas is keen of eye and ear, and he is unmasked as a bowman. His arrows seldom miss their mark. Gimli! What can you tell me of the dwarf Gimli? I have spent little time among dwarves, but Gimli is one of Durin's folk, and the dwarves of that line are trusted by Elrond. In spite Mr. of the differences that sometimes on, divide like, elves and dwarves, he's talking really if Gimli fast. is like most of his like, kin, he will You know that our videos are running really long, don't you, Aragorn? <laughs> what about these other hobbits? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a fucking <laughs> hobo. <laughs> he does. We are asking. <laughs> yeah. Until recently, some king of men. Jeez. It will be a comfort for him to have the familiar companionship of his friends and kin in the face of so much that will be new and frightening. 
I have traveled with these hobbits, yeah. and they proved far His more father fed the trolls. Didn't he know he shouldn't do that? Until next we meet. Eredan, Halbarad has taught you well, and your acts of courage honor the memory of our brothers who fell at Sarnford. Uh, I gather you had never heard of Agendaur before these recent events. I had never heard nor dealt with Agendaur specifically, but I know his. I kind. hope we find a shop soon. Years ago, I served in disguise in the armies of. We Gondor, probably will. Where I contended with the corsairs of Umbar, who were often led by those akin to oh, Agendaur. Right? These black Numenorians are a corrupt and wicked race. They worship Sauron as a god, and seek the utter destruction of all who oppose him. You have traveled hey, Elrond, want to stroke my dick some more? Do it. Do it. Only you don't have a dick, Cassie. Dick all elves have dicks. My own no, like all... No, 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 elves... Oh, oh, yeah, elves only have one gender, but that's just elves. I don't got any giants. Be on your guard at all times while you venture there. I should go with you. Why not I feel I should baby? accompany you on your quest. Let me go south with you. The ring bearer's companions have already been chosen. I will not gainsay the wisdom of Elrond and Gandalf in this matter. Yeah, it's okay. We know you have a man crush on Aragorn. It's so okay. Now you have always dedicated yourself to protect Everyone does. I would ask you to continue to do so. For the servants of the enemy are found in many places. Not in oh, we're going to have to talk with the twins now. There are times I wonder why we do it. We have little enough Choo -choo. from those we protect. Oh yeah, sorry, you train. That? You do it because My, you know it is the right. area where, in which I live is train active. Like there's what two railroads and there's a there's the BART tracks. And two, you do it and I can't, faith you know, mind. mute every you single time there's a train sound. Broom broom, I'm in me mum's train. And it is the duty of a king to protect his subjects. I like trains. I know it is in your heart. Get out me train. You are one of the king's men, even if the king has no throne. But Never believe that I am not grateful for such devotion. I will do all come down here to will. justify your faith. You go to become king, Adagon? You go now to claim your right to place as the king of Gosh. Above all, I go to help Frodo fulfill his quest. For unless the ring is destroyed, Gondor will soon fall. King or no king. Good luck. Good luck to you. You go solve the main problem of the story. We'll go deal with the subquest. <laughs> Where did we get to talk to the twins now? Okay, I'm uh, I mean, we could literally talk to anyone else now, but we kind of decided that we talked to Liam O'Brien. All right, all right. Eladon first. Liam O'Brien and Liam O'Brien. Liam O'Brien. A far cry from the oh, blood and dust of Fornost, is it not? <laughs> you and your companions did very well there. Thank Indeed, you. things might have gone badly for us had you not been there. You have earned some time to recover from the toils of battle and hard travel. And I believe you will find no place better for the restoration of body and spirit than this, our home. Um, investigate. What brought you to How Fornost? was it you happened to be at Fornost? We often ride far afield hunting the orcs wherever we may find them. We came upon signs of a large band of goblins making their way from the orc hold of Mount Gram and followed their trail to Fornost, where we lost no time in attacking them. You work often the Aragorn area. frequently travels and fights beside you, does he not? Yes, we often venture forth in company with the Dúnedain, and none more frequently than Aragorn. He was raised here in our household, after all. Uh, why was he raised How here? How is it that a man came to be raised here among elves? It is a tradition for the heirs of Isildur to be fostered in the house of Elrond. We have sheltered all the chieftains of the Dúnedain from the time the Northern Kingdom ceased to be down to this present day. Aragorn is the 16th in line from father to son to spend his early years in Inlantris. This is one reason why the bond between our two peoples is so strong. Tell me about your family. Will you tell me more about your family? I know Elrond is your father. Yes, it was he who established the refuge of Inlantris. My brother and I have dwelt here all our lives. Our sister Arwen dwells here as well, although she has spent many years in the company of our grandmother. And your mother? What of your mother? Does she dwell here also? Our mother has crossed the sea and left Middle-earth. It is a bitter tale to tell. Many years passed, on a journey across the Misty Mountains, our mother was captured by orcs. We searched the mountains without rest until we found her at last. 
Our father was able to heal her injuries. The memory of her torment was too terrible for her to bear. At last she chose to depart for the Undying Lands. Hmm. Perhaps now you understand why our hatred for the Orcs is so great. Sorry to have reminded you. That is a tale. Sorry to have reminded you. No, my friend. We have drawn swords together in the same cause. You have earned our trust. We do not wish to keep anything hidden from you. This is the evil that we have pledged our lives to destroy, just as you have. What can I, find? I may be in need of a few things before we set out. Yes. Is there anyone I can speak to about that? If it is provisions or other supplies you need, you should speak with Alari. And if your arms are uh, in the tent, you seek out Anya. Both of them may be found nearby. All right. Well, I wish luck. you luck. Goodbye. Well. What? Gimli. I know. Gimli, Gimli, Gimli. There's also a guy outside that we need. Can't let me, let me. Alright, alright. I wanted to play hey, Hat Kington. Ha! Why am I headbanging? I don't know how to do that. Oh, hi. He even got a message from the guild saying he'd be home today, too. Goddamn, uh. Zombles all that well. Yeah, the game's shitting itself. <laughs> It's like, uh, oh my god, I didn't expect you to get this far.